This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Domain.com. Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm Mark Sanger from Techno Buffalo, and today we'll be taking a look at Microsoft's latest mobile app, Hyperlapse. Not to be confused with Instagram's very own Hyperlapse for iOS. Microsoft's new app is currently available for Android and beta for select devices including the Note 4, the Nexus 6, LG G3, and Moto X, just to name a few. It's also available for select Windows phone devices like the Lumia 1520, 830, 930, and 630. Microsoft first announced its Hyperlapse video technology a couple of weeks before Instagram launched Hyperlapse for iOS last year. Microsoft's tech essentially helps smooth out videos and also process videos for time lapse. What Microsoft is doing with Hyperlapse is using software algorithms to stabilize the footage and identify common points from frame to frame instead of using gyroscope or accelerometer data from a phone, which is what Instagram's Hyperlapse does. Let's go ahead and check out what Microsoft's solution has to offer. The mobile version of Hyperlapse is slightly less sophisticated than Microsoft's desktop app called Hyperlapse Pro, but the interface is pretty straightforward. Launching the app, you're greeted with two options to choose from, record a new video or import an existing video. Tapping the record button from the main menu, we're then greeted with three buttons, record, flash, and a button to switch to the front facing camera to create a selfie lapse. We recorded a few different videos using our Galaxy Note 4 and came out somewhat disappointed by the final product. Keyword, somewhat. The footage wasn't as stable as we expected it to be, and I could definitely see some jello effects showing up when we exported the clips at 4x, 8x, and 1x. However, speeding it up to 16x or 32x, the footage became more stable and more easier to watch. Now, we didn't stop there. We were curious whether it was the slower speeds that were causing the jello effect or if it was the app. We recorded regular 1080p footage using the Note 4's camera, and here's what we saw. Now, as you can see, the 1080p footage shot directly onto our Note 4 is much smoother compared to Microsoft's Hyperlapse app. Whether we shot directly using the app or exported at the same speed, the Note 4 stock video was definitely smoother. When we switched to the front-facing camera, we noticed the same issue at lower speeds, a bit bumpy with the same jello effect we saw using the rear-facing camera. However, we got better results at higher speeds from 8x all the way up to 32x. Let me stop the video real fast and thank our friends over at Domain.com. It's the place to go when the next great idea hits you. It's a one-stop shopping for all your domain names and web hosting email needs. Domain wants to hook our fans up with a pretty cool offer. Save 20% on domain names and web hosting if you use the coupon code TECHNOBUFFALO. It's all one word in caps at Domain.com's checkout. Alas, if you want a smoother video on Android, Microsoft's Hyperlapse doesn't do the best job of stabilizing at regular speeds. However, if you're looking to achieve smoother time lapses, we found that Microsoft's Hyperlapse app does a pretty good job. The app is still in beta, so we could see improvements in the future, which means what you're seeing now might not be indicative of the final product. If you guys want to join the beta program, we'll have a link below for you guys to join, as well as a link to our article to see which devices are currently supported. Now, Before we end this video, we thought we'd do a quick comparison between Instagram's Hyperlapse versus Microsoft's Hyperlapse, just to see which platform offers better stabilization. After shooting a few videos, we think that Instagram's Hyperlapse is much more stable compared to Microsoft's. Even at lower speeds like 6x, Instagram's solution is much smoother. Again, Microsoft's Hyperlapse is still in its beta form, so we could see improvements in the future, but as it stands, it still needs a lot of work. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and if you guys enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and we will see you guys in the next one.